Hello, this is the Parents Guide for helping your student navigate in Google Classroom. First, what is Google Classroom? Google Classroom is a way for teachers to share assignments, resources, newsletters, and much more with their students and also their parents or guardian. To get started, if you are using a computer, you will navigate to the Google Chrome browser. If using an iPad or tablet, you will use the Google Classroom app. Next, type google.com into the web address bar as shown here. You should see a sign in button in the upper right hand corner of the browser window. Click that button. Next, your child will type in their JCPS email address and click next. A tip would be to copy that email address because you will need it again for this next step. Here, you can paste your child's email address or type it again and click next. If your student has already signed in on this machine, you may see a different window where you will click on your child's email address. The next step is to type in the password and click sign in. Now your child is logged in to their JCPS Google account. You should see a circle with the first initial of your child or they may have added an image. The Google Suite has several different apps available for your student. To access these apps, you will first click on the nine little squares in the top right corner. This is also known as the waffle. Here are Google icons your student may already be familiar with. These icons may also be apps your student's teachers are using for their instruction. Now that you are logged in to your student's Google account, you will want to click on the waffle and find the Google Classroom icon. Once you click on the Google Classroom icon, you will find the class your student is enrolled in. This will look different depending on the grade of the student. For our older students in middle and high school, students may have several different Google Classrooms, whereas in elementary, students may only have one or two Google Classrooms from their teachers. Once in your student's Google Classroom, there are several different tools to be aware of. In the top middle of the page, you will see three tabs. You have your stream, your classwork, and people. The stream is where announcements will show from the teacher as well as assignments. The second tab, the classwork, this is where all of the students' assignments will be with instructions. The fifth tab is people. So these are the teachers and classmates in that class. In the far right corner, you will see the waffle button again, as well as your student's account. In the far left corner, you will see the menu of classes if you click the three lines, and also what current class you are in. Upcoming assignments can be shown where the number eight is. Once your student clicks on classwork and gets inside of the assignment details, there are a few more options that you will see. For number seven, you will see the assignment title as well as instructions below. Also for number 10, you will see any attached files or links the teacher has added to that assignment. And then for Number 11, you will be able to actually view your student's assignment. Number eight shows when that assignment is due, if the teacher gave a due date. Number nine shows that that assignment has been assigned. On the far left corner, you will see all topics. So teachers can break down the assignments according to different subject areas, or as in this example, assessments and daily lesson files, as well as resources for the students. You can access Google Classroom from anywhere. There are apps for Android users as well as iOS users for the iPhone or iPad and also for Android tablets. You can also access Google Classroom from a desktop or a laptop computer or a Chromebook by simply going to google.com and following the instructions at the beginning of this video. Teachers have the options to invite guardians to their Google Classrooms. If your child's teacher chooses to do this, you will receive an email from Google that looks like the picture on the left. You will click accept if that is your child's name. 
Next, it will prompt you to choose how often you want to receive these summaries, weekly, daily, or no summaries at all. The summaries that you receive will tell you what work is missing from your student. Also, any upcoming work the teacher has assigned and its due date, as well as class activity in the stream. So if a teacher posts announcements or messages to the students, you will receive those summaries as well. If you have further questions about Guardian summaries, you can go to the shortened address below, bit.ly forward slash capital GC Help Center. Google Apps allow you to edit assignments from any device that is connected to the internet. So if you do not have a computer at home, Students are able to download these apps from the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. Once downloaded on a device, students can edit in real time their assignments and then turn them in using the Google Classroom app. Do you need help understanding how your student can log in to the JCPS backpack? If so, type the shortened URL below bit.ly forward slash B-O-S-S for guardians to get further information on how to sign in to your student's JCPS backpack and upload artifacts.